In this video, I'm going to be taking you through how to set up BitLocker Drive Encryption. In the beginning, you can click on the File Explorer and go to Computer. And here you can either right-click and go to Turn on BitLocker on your drives, or you can go to the Control Panel. And click on BitLocker Drive Encryption. Now, BitLocker Drive Encryption will encrypt a C drive or any partition or any other USB or flash drive that you plug into your computer. So to start, we're going to do our secondary partition here. You will have to provide administrative approval for the process. There we go. So now we can use a password to unlock the drive, a smart card to unlock the drive, such as a USB, or we can unlock the drive automatically. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to set it up with the password option. And it's worth noting that there is a password requirement for complexity rules for your BitLocker drive encryption to encrypt. And then it's going to ask you if you want to store your recovery key. Now, storing a recovery key is always a very important process because if you were to lose your password, the drive would become un unrecoverable and you wouldn't be able to retrieve any of your file information from the drive. So you should always save the recovery key to a flash drive or to a file or even print the recovery key will give you an option if you have a printer. For my purposes I'm not going to bother for the video. So we're just going to start the encryption. And there we go and this can take anywhere between 15 minutes and up to an hour or so to encrypt the drive depending on the size of the drive that you're encrypting. And you'll notice in the background that it tells you that it's encrypting. It's very important not to restart your computer during this process. Okay, so now that our encryption of the D drive is complete, you'll notice that it says uh, the hit the close button. When you hit the close button, you go back to your control panel, and you'll notice that the backup drive now has a lock on it. BitLocker has been enabled. In order to do the C drive, or your bootable drive, you need a compatible TPM module. A TPM module is a chip that's installed on your motherboard by your manufacturer. If you don't have one, there is a way to bypass it to encrypt the C drive. I'm going to show you that now. I'm going to click the Start menu and type in MMC for the Microsoft Management Console, or as I call it, the Mickey Mouse Console, and run that as an administrator. There we go. And now our Microsoft Management Console is open. We're going to add or remove Snap-in. We're going to click on Group Policy Object and Add for the local computer and click Finish. And click OK. We're going to expand that. We're going to expand Computer Configuration. Then we're going to expand the Administrative Templates, Windows Components, and BitLocker and click on Operating System Drives. The very first one at the top of this list require additional authentication at startup. We're going to double click that. And we're going to enable require additional authentication at startup and make sure that this checkbox allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM is checked. And then click OK. And then close. And you don't have to save to the console. And then you'll be able to click on turn on BitLocker and it'll enable you to do the exact same process with your C drive. This completes my video on how to enable BitLocker drive encryption on a Windows 7 operating system. If you like my videos, please feel free to comment below or visit us at www.clearconfig.net. Thanks for watching.